Hi, uh, Anna. My name's Andrew Williams. Firstly, thank you for your crusade and your, um, your work in bringing to the attention of the general public what is going on. That something isn't quite right. It takes balls to do that, to go against the establishment, against the mainstream media, against the narrative. I first woke up to the way things really were after 9-11 when I watched that BBC reporter um, basically declare that World Trade Center 7 had just collapsed, but it didn't collapse for another 30 minutes, then the penny dropped. I couldn't believe that people, a group of individuals, a power base somewhere, the cabal or the deep state or whatever, could act to carry out such a heinous act just to implement geopolitical change, their agenda, right? And I thought, how are they going to top that one? Well, they just have. Well, actually, I don't think they've topped it yet. I think this is just a trial run. That's the scary thing. This is just a trial run. You can go on the World Economic Platform, and there is an algorithm on the World Economic Platform, and a, uh, which details the rolling out of the pandemic how the pandemic, COVID-19, will be implemented, how it will be rolled out, country by country, culture by culture, how lockdown will be implemented. It's, it's all there in black and white, World Economic Platform. And it's also there, loosely, uh, description of, uh, of various ways to implement one world government in the 2010 Rockefeller report. It took, I think, um, step two is lockstep. I think there's four steps to potentially implementing a one world order, and one of those is lockstep. I mean, it's there in black and white about, you know, how, how to do that. Um, so really, people need to wake up to what's going on. The problem is the mainstream media, the BBC, I mean, I haven't paid my license since Jimmy Savile, to be honest with you. I mean, what the actual F? There's a documentary called www.outofshadows.org. Everybody should watch it because it basically, um, I mean, I'm pretty woke and was already, you know, of the understanding that all of the mainstream media is controlled, all of it, by a very few rich and corrupt individuals. And they are basically and have been brainwashing everybody for decades and right now this is what's happening but the thing is people are starting to wake up people are actually going oh you know what this doesn't feel right i don't feel like there's a pandemic that there's a deadly virus going around killing everybody something isn't quite right and i think we need more people to wake up we need people like you to people like me, who every time I walk down the street, I'll talk to somebody and I'll try and say, do you know what's really going on? I'll try and affect their, their, you know, their way of thinking. And more and more I'm noticing that people are thinking about really what's happening. The worrying thing is, is at the moment, this is a trial period. This is just a trial. What's scary is they could introduce something much more deadlier than, you know, um, than COVID-19. I mean, look at SARS. The first SARS outbreak, 2001, I think it was, was a natural outbreak. And then they weaponized it. They bioengineer, you know, the product for the sake of mankind and for the sake of, you know, scientific um, progression. Um, I mean, how can you even allow such things to go on? Um, so that's, that's the worrying thing, isn't it? Um, that this could, uh, this is just the beginning. It's all very sinister. It's all very scary. But the thing is not to be scared. The thing is to have faith that we can change people's minds. When everybody stands together, when everybody stops wearing the mask, when everybody comes together and says enough, because if we don't, the next thing is, is there'll be mand mandatory vaccines. And oh my God, people need to um, follow people like Robert Kennedy Jr. They need to uh, listen to Dr. Rashid Buttar 
Andrew Kaufman, Judy Makovitz, um, Dr. Shiva, these people, these uh, expert virologists and immunologists who have expertise in the area, listen to these people instead of listening to the mainstream media um, garbage that is being regurgitated again and again and again. Like I say, I haven't watched the BBC since, oh, since, since a long time ago, and I took time to watch it the other day just for a couple of hours. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. So, yeah, keep up the good work, and um, let's try and change things, uh, because I do believe we are on the dawn of a great awakening, a change for the better for everybody, um, a greater, prosperous future with, with an honest media. That's the problem, the mainstream media. They need to be brought down. They need to be held accountable. They need these people. I mean, Jesus, it's out of the frying pan into the fire, you know. Mark Thompson is his name, left the BBC 2012. He now works for the New York Times. For Christ's sakes, they put an op-ed in the paper the other day which said paedophile, uh, paedophilia, a, uh, uh, a condition, not a crime. I mean, what the actual F? Really? 